So now we'll be moving into the demonstration module of the course. And the intention that Mark and I have here is to show you how this can be done online. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to, to my friend and put myself in his hands. Uh, it's lovely to be, to, to be working with you, Jamie, in this way and perhaps uh, giving our colleagues a sense that this is very doable and it doesn't need to be quite so frightening as some Correct. people imagine online work mm -hmm. to be. And that really, once you set things up, as we've been discussing over the previous hour in this uh, webinar that we did, once you set things up and you get the relationship, you set the therapeutic frame, you get the technology worked out, the headphones, all this kind of stuff, actually it's just like EM doing EMDR in person. Precisely. Um, and we are face to face. So, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through a standard protocol uh, targeting of a distressing experience that you'd like to work with. Mm -hmm. We're going to set you up to start with with a bit of phase two preparation in mm -hmm. resourcing. Um, I I know you. I know you. We don't need to spend history time on this case in history right. taking with phase mm -hmm. one. We'll take that for granted. So this is like a session. Um, obviously, with colleagues watching this, they'll have probably done the resourcing in a previous session. Sure. And the, so, you know, one spends sure. a bit of time setting things up. Right. But so we'll, it'll all be a little bit tighter and more intensely focused, perhaps, than uh, a normal session. And we're aiming right. to do this in half an hour maximum or so, right. where obviously normally you have 45 minutes to, to an hour or even 90 minutes. Yeah, and thank How you for that. that? Sound? That sounds great. And thank you for that frame for people watching that this is out of context yet, hopefully in context enough where you can, we can benefit and great. And what we want people to experience is just sort of how we do it. Mm -hmm. uh, the content is a little bit secondary. The key thing is to observe how therapist and client relate to each other using the tech looking at each, at each other on screen. Mm -hmm. Jamie, you're, a, Jamie, you're a, dan a mindful dancer. That's your gig. Yes. <laughs> so in a sense, that's what we're doing. We're mindfully dancing with the EMDR standard procedural steps and its structures and its focus and its targeting and its AIP model. So we're going to fire you up Wonderful. and do something interesting. Mm -hmm. So let's start off, first of all, uh, Jamie, let's do a little bit of, let's install, tap in, Okay. Uh, some resources. Great. So should we start with a special place? I mean, it could be a safe place. It might be a peaceful, a calm place. Have you got somewhere lovely that yeah. we'd like to set you up with? Um, I do. I mean, I have one that's pretty established, um, mm -hmm. which is Lake Blood in Slovenia. Uh, so yeah, we, we can certainly tap that in. Although more than the place, I, I tend to prefer more like a light stream, like thinking of the light okay. from that place coming through me right in this space where I'm at now. Okay, so would you like to close? Oh, no, the way we're going to do the bilateral stimulation, mm -hmm. which is always a challenge. Right. So what I'd like to do, like you to do, and, and encourage those uh, watching this later on, to coach their clients to do the same. The butterfly hug is a lovely way of doing it, mm -hmm. which actually taps onto our pressure acupuncture pressure points and mm -hmm. the meridians and so on. So you take both hands and you cross your hands in front of each other, our palms facing you. Turn the thumbs towards each other. Lock the thumbs together and then turn the hands up, so the fingers are p pointing north, mm -hmm. as it were, and you put your fingers just below your collarbone, Yeah. and rest perhaps if you're in a chair, you could rest your elbows on the arms of the chair, mm -hmm. really just settle, feel really comfortable, and then the tapping is literally just lifting your fingers, you don't lift your hand, you lift your foot, yep, and the sort of speed I tend to go, I mean a speed that's comfortable for you, I tend to go at sort of Heart speed. What's a, a speed? I tend to go at the same speed Feels for nice. tapping in and for processing later on, but see how we go. So you're in. I'll leave you, leave you with it. Light stream, late bled, whatever you need to do, Jamie. Tap in your, tap in your special <sighs> I'll just tap with you as well. Thanks. We're tapping together. And you can hear my tapping, perhaps, in your headphones. Mm -hmm. It's nice. That's good. And let me know when you've got a really good sense of it. Say maybe take two or three more breaths with it. I'm really liking it. That's good.
Ooh. Nice one. Good. Nice. Chewy, uh, in standard EMDR terminology, a Q word, mm. but I like to talk about hashtag, a search term. Yeah. Uh, leg, we, blood, le leg blood works for me. Leg, yeah. Do you want to just tap in the words leg blood yep. extra? Yep. Just thinking of that lovely place mm -hmm. and actually locking the words leg blood onto that experience of being in your special place. Just had a cool thing come up as I did that. Because mm -hmm. yesterday I was getting a little winsome about all these beautiful places I've been in the world and I can't go there now, if, even if I wanted to, because yeah. of where, you know, the state we're in. But even as I did that, what came up is like blood is within me. Well, in a sense, you're recreating it. Your mm -hmm. nervous system is recreating an internal image and right. experience and a felt sense of being in this gorgeous place. And when you're in Slovenia, actually looking at the lake, your internal system is creating an internal yeah. image of being in that place at the same time. So in that sense, there's not a lot of difference. <laughs> so we can use this. Precisely. Yes. Thank you. Um, do you want to call it a special place, a safe place, a calm place? Just if when we want to take yeah. you back there... Yeah. I just so I get the language right. It's my special place. And so we'll call I like it a special, special place. place, yeah. Yeah. Bearing in mind that some clients safe place just doesn't feel safe. You exactly. know, so we have to choose a language. Special, calm, peaceful, safe. Some mm -hmm. clients like a safe place. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really nice. So are you ready to do some processing? Do some targeting. Oh, oh perhaps some hang on. Um Resourcing. <laughs> yeah, let me think a of a few, more, a few more things. So, like, you know, breathing is very important to me. You probably saw that I breathed a lot during yeah. that. So, if I'm ever stuck, just inviting me to take a couple breaths, feeling my feet That's on the ground is very nice. And, we yeah, and I'm, and I'm fine with tapping in a couple figures because often when I do okay. work, I imagine, like, a circle of support around me. So, who would you like in your circle of support? So, nurture, protect, protection, yeah, qualities yeah. of wisdom. Who would you like in your, in your team? Yeah, and I think for the piece of work I want to do, um, Wonder Woman is, is Wonder a good Woman. one who shows it's up in a lot of my work. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the, the historical figure, the poet, Hannah Senich, who died um, fighting Nazis, and yep. the Gestapo. Um, good. She's, she's one that's there. Um, Divine Mother. Uh, Divine you can think Mother, of her as Virgin Mary. So yeah, I think the three of them Sounds good. Yeah. Should we tap them in one by one and then as a team? Mm. Or is all three together? I'm already seeing all three of them kind of surrounding I think me. So. In your case, you know, you've got them available. It's not. Um, I think I, with, a, with somebody starting from scratch, I'd tap them sure. individually and That's then as a fine. team. But let's tap in Wonder Woman and Hannah Senich and Divine Mother. That's good. 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 Right. So, are you set? I am. What do you want to work on? <sighs> All right. So just give me a second here to talk this out, and I'm sure in your wisdom you'll hear where we need to go with this. So um, I, I think the larger context, and I want to make sure viewers know, I totally understand my privilege here, and I'm not comparing myself to what others in the world are struggling with right now related to I am not essential because there's a lot of this rhetoric out there about essential employees versus not essential employees and uh, you know there's a negative cognition right there but um, I uh, you know Mark I've long struggled and you know a lot of this history with feeling like a black sheep of sorts or a misfit sheep because I am such not just a qualitative thinker, but a qualitative mm. dissociative thinker mm. and, mm. and believing that I don't really have a place in, mm. in traditional academics or this, this larger professional world. So what happened in these last few weeks as all of this was bubbling with, with COVID-19 is um, for the first time in four years, I had a paper accepted to an academic journal. Mm. And a lot of why it's been the first time in four years is that I, I've just not really chosen to do academic writing or research. I've focused more on clinical writing and creative writing. Yep. And um, oh, it, it, it was one of those experiences where I could do it, 
Mm-hmm. Yet the whole experience felt just kind of like soul shattering. Like there was just so much okay. tone, tone policing. Um, you know, you're too emotional in this section. Okay. I heard that yep. quite a bit. So yep. yeah, and even yep. as I said that, like, ah, you're too emotional. Okay. And so there's not a place for you or you, you right. better tone it down. Okay. That sounds like a good thing to work with. Should we, yeah. uh, should we, should we target that? <sighs> You mean use more of the present issue as the target, or yeah, or do you want to go into a past that you know feeds into this? Or we could use this yeah. to start with this and see where it goes, see what it brings up. Yeah, let me because let me. The AIP model will bring it up. AIP that's stuff. That's true. You know, now that I'm thinking of it, let's start with the present because there's a variety of past mm-hmm. memories it can feed into. Yeah. So I don't really why, know which ones. Why don't we target in a standard protocol way? We'll target mm-hmm. your presenting distress. Yeah. On the understanding that your nervous system, your you know the way the system uh, metabolizes experience, it will make the connections it needs to make. Okay. I have every confidence with most of our clients. We know that what needs mm-hmm. to come to the surface is brought to the surface, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We may have to do a float back, an affect bridge, or a bridge, but should we start there? Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay then, Jamie. So, <sighs> when you think about this experience of having the paper accepted for the academic journal. Oh, by the way, just a question, closing eyes, opening eyes. Lots of clients, yeah, are cons- yeah. lots of colleagues are cons- wondering, is right. it okay? You're a diso- you dissociate, you know yeah. you have a dissociative, mm-hmm. dissociative edge. Are you okay, just checking, are you okay to close your eyes? I do a mix of the two. For now, it feels safe to close my eyes. I think it's a good idea to check in with the clients. Yeah, um, and, 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 thank you for, and thank you for calling it a dissociative edge. That's a nice way to... Okay. I like my, personally, I generally get my clients to close their eyes. But if you're working with a very dissociative client, do you know you've got to stay connected and safe in the present? So, Jamie, thinking about this experience with the the, uh, getting your paper accepted for an academic journal and the messages around, you're too emotional, there's not a place for me. Mm -hmm. And it's soul shattering. It's pretty powerful stuff. So when you think of that experience, what's the picture, the image that represents for you now the worst part of this experience? Um, so I can give you a picture, but I think it's more the words in the that words? picture that's the worst part, which is uh, watch your tone. Watch your tone. Should we go with that? Yeah, is the worst part. Because I could see it on the screens, like as feedback was coming through. Okay, almost like a sort of email or feedback coming in mm-hmm. on, a, on a screen. So yeah. is that, should we take that as the picture? It's almost like That's a fine. screen. Watch That'll your work. tone. That'll work. Good. So connecting with that image, that moment, those words, watch your tone. What are the words, Jamie, that go with that experience that capture your negative belief about yourself now? Hmm. I'm going to make this hard on you. There's three that are coming up. Okay. Um, so I don't know which is the bigger one. One is I am too emotional. I am too emotional. One is I don't belong. I don't belong. And uh, another is um, really quite frankly is I, I don't, it's like I don't fit or I'm not, it's part of that I'm not essential. Like how I think and how I write has no role in academics which of those if you were to choose one I don't fit I'm not essential I don't belong which of those has the most traction right now as you think about that picture watch your tone that message Jamie marriage watch your tone <laughs> um, I think the strongest one is I don't belong I don't belong. So thinking, of, if you want to keep your eyes closed, yeah. yeah. Thinking of the scene, thinking of that uh, screen. Watch your tone. Saying to yourself, "I don't belong." What would you rather be able to say about yourself? A preferred cognition, should we say? A PC. That I'm a misfit, and that's okay. I'm a misfit, and that's okay. Yeah, because yeah, I'm okay. beyond trying to change myself. So it's I'm okay. a misfit, and that's okay. Okay. Is Let's uh, let's go with that one. And on a scale of one to seven, yeah. where one is not true at all and seven is as true as it could possibly be, I'm a misfit and that's okay. How true does that feel as you get them feedback, J- 
Jamie Marich, what's your tone? <laughs> it's middle of the road. So I'd say, what would that be like a four if you're using okay. that scale? And thinking of the negative, I don't belong. And thinking of what's your tone? What does that make you feel? What's the emotion? Um, ugh. I don't know if you could put a word on that. Just kind of like, ugh. Yeah. So, like this Despair, again. Despair, disgust, ugh. Yeah. Yeah. This again, you know, yeah. So I guess th those would be accurate. It's like just. Should we just go with yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, on a scale of naught to ten, how how intense is the ugh, despair, disgust, whatever it is? Ugh. It's it's also middle of the road, probably about a five six. Okay, and where's that happening in your body? Just like there's this this. It's almost like a a line from my like. just just below my throat, but kind of down okay. to the stomach. Here we go, thinking of the scene. Watch your tone. I don't belong. Yeah, and your body. Just tap on that. That's good. Just noticing. Let whatever happens happen. I have this complicated technical term, say when. You'll know when you're ready to pause and give me a bit of feedback. Yeah. Um, okay. Because the first thing that's <sighs> coming up is I, I didn't really belong in my family either. Like I didn't, I didn't. Is there a particular scene, a particular memory and experience that's coming to mind where you didn't belong in your family as a, as a girl? Not one in particular. It was just, it's, I'm just kind of seeing a general series of scenes. Do you want to just go with that? Mm -hmm. Your system will know where to go. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> do, I need, do I need to write down a new target? Oh, no, no. The word that came up is I'm disappointed. Oh, uh, yes. I'm disappointed because. Uh, yep. That, you know, was, was a, a term I got from my parents quite a bit. It was a One term. One parent that in particular? Both. No. It was okay. really both of them in different ways. And yeah, there, there's a link with I'm disappointed to this present issue too. Do you want to just go with that? Yeah. I'll just tap gently as we go along. Just notice what comes up. See when you'd like to take a pause. Take a breath, perhaps, yeah. Mm. So what and are you getting at? Yeah, and the reality is there's a lot that disappoints me too. Yeah. I'm trying not to overanalyze that too much, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm disappointed by certain beliefs my parents have. I'm disappointed by the way, like, the kind of academic community works. Do you want to just go with that? Just notice those overlaps and those parallels. Mm. That's good. Doing great. I'm disappointed by the business of our field. I'm disappointed by how governments are handling what's going on right now.
Well, that I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> with, with, with governments, but with I, the other stuff, it's more like disappointed. I'm just curious, is it okay to be disappointed with governments and so on now and our fields, things that happened in our field? Is that okay to be disappointed? No. Yeah. Let's just think back to little Jamie. Yeah. Is that okay for your parents to be disappointed in you? I mean, what little Jamie is saying is, of course not. Do you want to just notice that? Yeah. And there's almost like a dance between the two of them, because adult Jamie's saying disappointment's a natural human emotion. But little Jamie's like, no. As, <sighs> I'm just going to, okay, to just say something as you sure. tap. Mm -hmm. As you look at little Jamie and the scenes that you're getting, do you see her as a disappointment? No, not at all. There you go. Go with that. <laughs> <laughs> That looks good. That's a lovely smile. Thank you. Wow, yeah. What are you getting? I don't know precisely. I'm, I'm a little foggy. So my sense knowing how I is to just keep going with it, but with my eyes open. Okay. Um, what I would normally do, can I say Yeah, something? go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'd want to actually find little Jamie in a particular mm -hmm. scene and sort mm -hmm. her, you know, and sort her out. If, if there's a particular, a particular scene and sort of find her in that moment, would that be okay? Is there something specific, like a clear target anchored in space and time? And And part of with you know the, the way my dissociative structure is is there's not it's hard for me to get specifics um because there's just a lot of things that are clustered together um so yeah i mean i can get a general you know sense of like my four-year-old self and and Four, what yeah a sort of representative moment no it uh -huh. doesn't have to be a literal you know mm -hmm. photographic memory of an actual moment but a kind of representative experience of four-year-old jamie well, I can do you one better because I have a four-year-old ego state pretty alive oh. and well in me. Okay. And she's she's sitting there. Let me let me. Oh. Can you see her? It's more than I can see her. She's she's here. Oh, well, just just tap on her. Would yeah, you like just to tap yeah. on her and see what she has to say. Mm -hmm. See what she's trying to tell you through feelings. She hasn't got a lot of language, has she? She's only four. But she's communicating big time. She's precocious for four, though. She's got mm -hmm. <laughs> her language is, is getting kind of fun right now. Um, And she's telling me, you've worked so hard on all of this. Don't give up now. Mm. So she's got some wisdom for big Jamie, has she? Yeah. Yeah, listen to that. She's saying you don't have to be everything for everybody. Nice one. 
Is she okay in that scene? Oh, yeah. Is she okay, the four-year-old? She okay? Mm -hmm. That four-year-old energy, she's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. So if we bring that, her wisdom, you don't have to be everything for everybody, back mm -hmm. up to, can we bring it back to the present? Yeah. To the, what's your tone, Jamie Marich? How distressing does that <laughs> message feel to you now on a naught to 10? <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> Would you just like to tap that in? This is... <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> looks like you guys are having fun. Yeah. Well, and a lot of, you know, just so viewers understand the context is, you know, I, I have a dissociative system and this four-year-old's done a lot of work before. So in a lot of ways, she's wiser than the adult self. <laughs> Which is sort of, isn't, isn't encumbered by sort of experience, is she? She's yeah. Yeah. Intuitive yeah. Wonder Woman. Yes. <laughs> a little bit yeah. wonder, wonder Wonder Girl. <laughs> wonder Girl, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think what's what's coming up is this sense of you know this is not going to be the last time I'm told to watch my tone because of the I world because of the world we live in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I see my little four-year-old, because when I was actually four, I regularly ran around the house wearing Wonder Woman underoos. Did you literally? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Wonder Woman, was, Wonder Woman was that important to me. Yeah. So oh, wow. I, I yeah. see this, this picture of my four-year-old self wearing the Wonder Woman underoos, essentially saying, I'll be here for you when these things come up again. And it's a kind of, it feels like a very sort of strong, um, uh, uh, intuitive, innocent, but in the best possible sense, energy uncontaminated by grown-up crap. Yes. Sorry, te te psychological technical term. I want to. So, go do you want to just channel that energy, that innocent enthusiasm? So well intentioned, isn't it? How's that doing? Good. She's saying to me, not everybody's going to like you, and that's okay. Great. So if you think about the message on the screen, what's your tone? Any distress left? Not to 10. It's just a real little teens of it kind of here just in my stomach. Just notice that. Just notice that. See what that's about. Oh, I always like to get my suds down to a zero. For sure. Afraid. For sure. Me too. The body has that last little bit. There's cherry on the cake. And what's coming up is nobody likes to get nasty email. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> of course they don't. Nobody likes to get nasty email. Uh, like on top of everything else, you know, oh, exactly. we're dealing with. Yeah. It's okay. She's with me. Good. In a really positive sense. In a very positive sense. In a sense. fully functional sense. Yeah. Yep. Like free child. It feels like in the sort of TA model. She's yeah. a free child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a let good me, healthy ego state. Let me tap tap with that. I like that free child. Yeah. Free child, yeah, which is a really good place to have access to, yeah. isn't it? And a question that's coming up for me is how can I live as this free child in an adult world? I think you she that your free child, can I suggest as you yeah. tap, she probably needs a responsible adult knocking about. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it, this is a partnership between free child and adult, isn't it? I like that. Yeah. Do you like to join them up? Let's do that. And I like how they're joined up. Isn't it? It is. It's a, it really is. Mm -hmm. It's like a heart. It's, you know, you can always see the heart here tapping away. Yeah. Left and right. Left brain and right brain are actually physically connected in your thumbs. <sighs> yeah, good. Yep. Good. And notice how we can mirror each other as well, the sort of the mirror neurons. We can just move with each other, can't we, despite being on screen and thousands and thousands of miles apart. That so, beautiful. <laughs> you get a difficult email. What's your tone? How's that particular message, the one we started with? Any distress left? Not no. to 10? No. Is it clear? So, we had originally 
um, I'd like to. Be, you'd like to believe. Um, I'm a misfit, and that's okay. Is that still good, or is there something better? As a positive, as a preferred thought about yourself, as you think about getting that email like that, watch your tone. Are you a misfit? Are you just you? I have a voice. Is I have a voice. Do we, do we want to tap? Install that one. I have a voice. Tap that in. Let me let me let me put it as I have an important voice. Absolutely. My voice matters. Yeah. I have an important voice. I don't know. Let me let me bat both of them. Tap on that. Just see. Just yeah. just see what see what feels right. I like I have an important voice because the reality yeah. is I'm not in control over who it matters to or not. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, but the, nice. rea no, but the yep. reality is I have it. I yeah. am. Let, let, me, let me see. I have an important voice. I am. <laughs> I am vocal. I am. <sighs> I matter. I mean, I matter to me. Mm-hmm. There's a lot in there. There's a lot of richness yeah. in there. Yeah, so I'm just tapping because it's Maybe all. Maybe the detail all, doesn't matter too much. Yeah, they're it's all good. interwoven. You know, it's yeah. but it, it essentially comes down to. Mm. <sighs> this is a bit complicated, but it's like I have a voice. It's up to them if they want to hear it. That's good. Like yeah, that. yeah. But it, yeah, the essence is there, isn't it? The like, essence, yeah, the essence too much is. About the words. Yeah, the essence is I have a voice. And on a one to seven, seven is absolutely true. One's not true at all. I have a voice. I yeah. have my voice. Six. What's stopping it being a seven? Is that ecologically valid, would you say? No, no, because something's come at, happening here. You can see where I, I'm touching my face. I'm sorry, CDC, for okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's there's something right here. Just notice that. Let's see what it is. Mm. Wow. That looks good. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, for the sake of the demo, I'll give a little backstory. But, you know, this, this third eye area here, hmm. oh, you know, this represents intuition. And mm. other previous work I've done, it's brought me to a place of your intuition needs love, not punishment. Mm. And the mm. context of that is having a history of self-injury. This is where I used to hit my head. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Just love, notice that. love notice. not punishment. Love, not punishment. Love, not punishment. Maybe that's the PC. Mm. It's looking good. How's that doing? It's good. Um, yeah. it's, 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 I love how you said maybe that's the PC because when you did, what came up was, was a very you know meta PC here, which is just that I am love. Yeah, actually that's about as good as it gets really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know that wow. you know what I do is from that belief. Yeah. Lovely, really lovely. Does that feel true? Yes, completely. The seven, fantastic. Oh, well, go ahead. Do you want me to tap? <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, jumping the well, gun. Is, that, is it good enough? Do you want to tap a bit more? I mean, we, we're pretty close to we're pretty close to end of the end of our half right. hour. Right. Um, so we probably ought to wrap it up. But to just check the body, should we just do a body scan? Yeah. Yeah. 
phase phase uh, phase six body scan. Mm -hmm. So we've done the phase five installation. Let's check mm -hmm. on the phase six body scan. Just close your eyes and say, "I am love. I am love." Quietly, innocently, um, thinking of the getting that email message. Because some people will say that they will find you difficult. <laughs> you tell, Jamie? And you you respond with, "Ah, oh, I am love." You don't need to actually reply, do you, in the email? Exactly. You know, <laughs> you don't, they don't, they don't yeah. need to know. No, the body, the the bodies. It's just body. a nice, clear line of beautiful Good. energy. Nothing stuck. Lovely. There. Yep. So do you want to sort of neatly wrap it up? Yep. We'll do yep. a, we'll do a closure so phase seven closure. Let me let me just give me a second here to tap with all of this. So I That's am love nice. together with this beautiful body feeling and lovely. Nice piece of work. Well done. Emails. Ah. I could do one of them as well, I think. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Good. The processing may continue. Will continue. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We'll meet next week and see how you do. Uh, do we want to do a future template just quickly, just just in in in, in your just close your eyes? I and think I think that crap. yeah, we could do like Difficult a like email. an informal one. Yeah, because oh, they're going to keep coming. <laughs> They'll keep coming. Sure, will. Is that okay? Just just yeah. check in mm -hmm. how that's going to be. As you bring, I am love. Hey, you know what? I'm love. Quietly, and you get a difficult bit of feedback. Bound to happen. Jamie Marriage, watch your tone. I think I'm going to take this laugh with me hearing you do because <laughs> you know what that's like too. This <laughs> <laughs> is the only answer. Uh, yeah. So, um, you know, and it's not to say that I don't take feedback seriously, but it's, it's really a sense of like, I can handle it because it's not about me at my core because at my core you, is nothing but love. Do you want to just tap in as a PC I can handle this. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a really lovely a straightforward bonus PC, yeah. <laughs> uncomplicated and my goodness me, you know, whatever life throws at us, hey, I can handle this. What I like what's coming for me is I can handle this for I am love. Yeah. And I don't and, and just for the sake of people watching this demo, I don't mean that in any kind of egotistical way, because you are love too. I mean, exactly. We all are. We are. We, are. we all are. Exactly. That's the essence. I of hope the we can all tap into that. So, thank you, my friend. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Jamie. And I hope our colleagues find that useful because that was very, right. very much for a standard structure, doing it in the standard way uh, with the uh, standard yeah. structure of the phase three, and it worked beautifully. And whatever variations in the EMDR world you may subscribe to or hold dear, I, I think the key here, which Mark and I are getting at, is you can do those online. And That's the key thing being kind of true to yourself and your practice. And I just have to, to say, Mark, with amazement, that as I know this is the second time we've worked virtually like this or worked online, mm. I, I'm, I'm blown away how connected I felt through all of that. Absolutely. Like you and said, I felt the same. Thousand, you're thousands of miles away. Yeah. And also one of the things that I do in the discussion beforehand, we talked about having the headphones, Right. You're in my ears. Mm -hmm. I'm in your ears. There was one point where I was talking very quietly. Yeah, it was lovely. You know, with little, with with little Jamie in her super mm -hmm. superwoman suit. You know, right. There, so, so I'm right in here. I'm so in your head. Yeah. It's even more intimate than being physically present in person. I think it There's can something be. Very yeah. Power, very yeah. powerful about the bubble we create. Also, I've only got your heart and your head and your upper mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. And you've got me, so there's there's a kind of essence mm -hmm. of connection, the essence of who you are mm -hmm. and who I am, is sort of dis distilled into this interaction. Mm -hmm. There's, there's I, something quite exquisite about it, I think. Yes, and I liked hearing the taps, you tapping and you with liked me hearing the, in the that earphones. I, that's very new. That's only it's literally in the last couple of days. We're learning all so mm -hmm. fast. We're learning so much about this way of working at warp speed. We really yes. are. Yes. And for me, that was part of what helped to engender this connection. 
And I noticed you were tapping at the same pace as yes. me as well. Yeah. Um, and, and like I said in the beginning, when we were doing the, the the special place exercise, you know, I did have a sense of sadness because you know that I'm a world traveler, as are you, and I, I'm almost feeling like I can't just get up and go to India or go to England if I wanted to right now. Yet, this I'm just grateful that the technology we have now that we didn't even have 15, 20 years ago Absolutely. helps us to connect at least in this way. So. It's the beginning of a actually a whole new world. It's an, it, the world will see such change, is seeing such change so fast. And this way of being with each other internationally um, and even within the same time zone, um, I think this is going to become so much more central to how we all relate to each other. And it's good. This mm -hmm. is not a second best. It's different, but it's not second best at all.